This is an RTV6 update, working for you. Hello, I'm Nicole Griffin, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Many in Indianapolis are mourning the loss of one of the city's most prominent community leaders and philanthropists. Crystal DeHaan died at her home Saturday morning at the age of 77, according to a spokesperson from Crystal House International. She created the Crystal House to help impoverished children around the world. It currently serves 6,000 students in the U.S., India, Jamaica, Mexico, and South Africa. DeHaan also provided funding for a number of arts initiatives in central Indiana. Governor Eric Holcomb reacted to the news of her passing, saying, quote, she used her talents to support the arts and transform the lives of impoverished children globally through educational access to those she had never met. I will miss her spirit, her wit, commitment, but most of all, daily inspiration. We should all be comforted knowing her legacy will live on for generations to come. Lanes of I-465 on the east side are now back open after a tanker truck carrying thousands of gallons of diesel fuel caught fire. The truck burst into flames near the Washington Street exit around 8 o'clock Saturday morning. According to the Indianapolis Fire Department, the driver was driving south when he heard a bang and pulled over. He believes the drive shaft came loose and punctured the tank, causing the fire. The driver was not hurt, but a firefighter was injured with a cut on his face. Kyle going to be a sunny Sunday across central Indiana. Lower humidity too, with those temperatures climbing back into the 80s, 82 degrees in Peru, 85 in Indy and Columbus. With all that sunshine, make sure you got the sunscreen, that UV index running very high to almost extreme. So it doesn't take very long to get a sunburn. Then as we go through the week, our attention is actually going to turn to the remnants of a tropical system that through the day on Tuesday is expected to move somewhere across portions of Missouri or Illinois close enough that it will bring increasing clouds for us. Also some breezy conditions and the chance for some showers and thunderstorms there Tuesday and Wednesday. Following that system, a big cool down highs barely into the 70s by Saturday. Kyle, thank you for more weather and stories that you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.